Hi boys and girls, it's Elizabeth here for Sunday School this week. This week we have a short story, but it's packed full of goodness, and I'm going to help you break it all down. Um, we are on week 13, Jesus Heals Bartimaeus, chapter 26, page 136 in your All of Us book. Briefly, before we get started, I will give you kind of at the beginning of the story. They're describing Bartimaeus as blind, and he is begging on the side of a road where crowds are gathering to see Jesus. So not a good situation being blind and kind of helpless and begging. But let's see how that gets all turned around. Page 136, if you want to follow along with me. I want to see. As Jesus was leaving Jericho to gather with his disciples and a sizable crowd, a blind beggar named Bartimaeus, Timaeus' son, was sitting beside the road. When he heard that Jesus of Nazareth was there, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, show me mercy. Many scolded him, telling him to be quiet, but he shouted even louder. Son of David, show me mercy. Jesus stopped and said, call him forward. They called the blind man, hey, be encouraged, get up, he's calling you. Throwing his coat off to the side, he jumped up and came to Jesus. Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said, teacher, I want to see. Jesus said, go, your faith has healed you. And at once, he was able to see and he began to follow Jesus on the way. All right, so short story, but it's packed full of goodness. And I'm going to help you break it down. So not only is this, they're an obvious part to this story, yet another round of Jesus healing somebody in need. He is able to hear the cries in the middle of the crowd of somebody who truly needs help. And he calls them forward and he heals them. And the crowd oohs and awes. But there's more to that in this story. Bartimaeus um, is blind. And he, in the middle of a crowd, he's yelling. He said, he, once he finds out that the person everybody came to see is Jesus of Nazareth, he thinks, I'm going to take this opportunity and I am going to ask for my mercy. So he shouts in the middle of a crowd, trying to get Jesus' attention. And everyone around him is kind of, shh, you're bothering us. You're going, to, you're going to ruin this moment for all of us. And that doesn't stop him. He shouts even louder. He says, Jesus, show me mercy. And he gets Jesus' attention. And Jesus calls him forward. And he says, Teacher, I want to see. So he's referring to Jesus as a teacher, somebody that he is listening to, a person that he is learning from, a person he is showing obedience to. And I think the most miraculous part of this story is maybe Jesus knew exactly what Bartimaeus wanted. Maybe he didn't. He knew Bartimaeus was struggling. He knew he needed mercy. But he asked him, he says, what can I do for you? And he gives him what he needs. He heals him. He, he is able to see again. And there's so many parts of this story that is so good because Bartimaeus shows everyone that Praising God, regardless of your own circumstances, is possible. Bartimaeus is suffering. He is blind. He's a beggar on the streets. 
yet he still believes that there is so much love and mercy that God can give us. Even though he's a beggar, a blind beggar on the street, he still has Jesus in his heart. And Jesus, he's showing the crowds, you know, yes, I can heal this man. But also he is saying, I'm here to help. I hear those who are suffering. I am here to help. My love for you is so great. I want to help you. And not only, once again, is he showing the crowd that he's got it. He can do anything. He is always encouraging the crowds of people to lead by example, by showing mercy, showing love to our neighbors. And that's why it's such a good story because it shows everybody that if you are doing your best to be the best person in God's kingdom that you can be, God hears you. God will show you mercy and love. There is no need to be perfect. He hears you. All right, let's have a quick prayer. So let's bow our heads. And fold our hands. Jesus, thank you for responding to our cries for help, just as you have answered Bartimaeus' cry. Help us show mercy and compassion to others, just as you did. Amen. I hope you guys have a great week and next week will be a really exciting jumping into our spring curriculum. So make sure you've picked up that stuff from the Vespula and we will start to get into the beginning of the Easter story. See you then.